Hello, my name is Isaiah and welcome to this video about folding at home. Uh, what I'm covering today is how to install the folding application. It's run by Stanford, it's a non-profit and it's basically the, the premises that is using your computer power when you're not actually using a computer to uh, look at protein and how it interacts with other proteins and basically it's we're trying to cure different diseases whether it's cancer, whether it's Alzheimer's, uh, all sorts of different projects are being run through this uh, folding at home. So it's a great thing to do when you're just simply not using a computer. So let's go ahead and install the program. I guess I forgot to say before that is that if you Google uh, folding at home, the first link should be the folding at Stanford or folding.stanford.edu and that would we'll take it to the same page here. Uh, so we're going to download the installer. I have already downloaded it. And you can go ahead and once you have it, click on it and tell it to install. Now the, by default, there's no like secret malware. There's no uh, little ads that pop into it or programs installed with it. This is completely a legitimate program. If you go to advanced, you can pick where it installs, but C drive is just fine for most people and it's pretty quick so once you have it installed what you want to do is hit finish you can tell it to start right away or not it's up to you uh, by default this is what's going to come up is this page and it's a very user-friendly way of doing it and I'll show you how to do this this way first once it actually starts So here you can actually set up, without actually going through the advanced user interface, which I'll show in a second, you can set up the basic. So if you want to fold without ever having a team you're supporting or anything like that. So really what teams are, all they are is just it records your information and when you're on a team you can just have, you know, you're allowed to say, hey, look at me, I folded this many points. It's not, it doesn't actually make a difference if you're folding for a team or not, if you're just doing it for um, yourself, really. So, but I am folding for the Overclockers Club team, so I do want to set up my identity. So, when I click folding, it says your name. Your name is your username if you're on the forums, so overclockersclub.com. I'm on the forums, so, and I actually have all the stuff saved right here in the little notepad file. It makes my life a little bit easier. I know that I'm IR cow, so IR cow. Oops, let's get rid of anonymous. And team is gonna be one two seven seven two for overclockers club. And the passkey, I'll tell you about in a second. It's very important. My passkey is this, and you are good to go. Now, if you don't have a passkey, that's fine. All that means is that you basically uh, get less points per unit. I don't know why they implemented it, but passkey is what you need to do. So if you don't have a passkey, you can click on the link. It should pull up to the passkey. You type in your username and an email address. There's, there's no spam input leave it to this, so you can type in your actual email address and you'll get a key back in about a few minutes. So you hit save, and off you go. So this is basically just using my CPU, my two video cards I have in this computer, um, and it's set for medium power. So while I'm working, it's going to use everything at the same time. You can set it to when you're only idle, so when you're away from your computer, which most people like to do, instead of your computer going to sleep, it's going to be folding. You can pick how intensely it works. So pretty much I put it on full intensity while I'm working, unless I'm you can still browse the web, it's really, unless you're doing something that requires a lot of CPU power or uh, video processing power, you can leave it like that. So that is the quick way of doing it. Now, if you weren't to open the web page, if you were to click on the program itself when it's running, if you right-click on it, you can go to Advanced Controls. So if you're on Advanced Controls, it's going to look like kind of like this and if you have nothing set up so if you didn't actually configure it that through the web browser version if you went to uh, 
sorry, not preferences. We went to configuration. This is exactly the same stuff I tapped, I typed in. So I have my username, I have my team, and my pass key. And you can get your pass key from going to the link, either googling it, pass key, folding it home, or clicking the link they have provided. The main part here is you what you want to configure is how many what you have and what you want to provide resources for. So I have two video cards and a CPU and I decided for whatever reason that I don't want to fold my CPU at all. I just don't want to do it so I can remove it. And then you can configure the settings for each unit, how how intense it is. Uh, but I leave that all default usually. So now I'm folding with just two video cards. So that's a really quick guide on how to install folding at home for your desktop computer and it just runs in the background you can minimize it and it's not going to cause no real problems especially if you leave it on light or medium use uh, you can put it on full use when you are uh, idle uh, the second part of this video covers cryptocurrency and how you can incorporate uh, folding at home and make a few dollars on the side uh, it's not much honestly it's pretty much just enough to cover power sometimes not even that but if you're already folding on your free time to just support the projects why not get a few extra um, dollars or really not dollars but coins that you can convert into money in the future